ladies and gentlemen, this is at the request of Vitek, the co-creator of this vlog, the guy behind the scenes. He says, you keep going to Medica and uh, you should actually say something about the evolution of the project because that could be interesting. I'm not sure because uh, making a documentary always requires uncovering layer upon layer upon layer things and changing perspectives and stuff like that but um, uh, he's a smart guy and I will uh, humor him so here we are Medica 21st of January I was supposed to be driving back to Warsaw but uh, there is a huge avalanche of snow and I decided to wait it out here. shooting the continuation of the project called Reconstruction which is about uh, something that happened in 1941 when a few hundred thousand Poles were sent by trains uh, from neighboring uh, villages to Siberia and it's uh, still a very traumatic event the border with uh, Ukraine is about a kilometer away it's a weird time Pandemic is ranging, war is looming on the horizon, things are happening in and out and uh, I'm trying to push forward. Uh, the project started in the summer of 2013 when I was sitting with uh, by now my friend Stanley Opauka in sunny Northern Carolina. Oh good. And you see, this is worth if you didn't make that, that's thousands of dollars wow. in the turn play, see? Wow. So you should really go past the gap. Oh, I see. I yeah. See, I see. Here we give me five. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about him successfully escaping the Gulag from Siberia, where he was sent from this very town at the early 1941 with his entire family. Only half of his family survived. The other half, um, because of tenacity of the mother, made the way through the South, through India, uh, Mexico, and ended up in the States. And uh, I like the guy and I made a documentary about him, a short one, which is available online, should anyone care. <laughs> Since that time I've been doubling on the subject and somehow I'm here uh, continuing the project and the project actually has been fueled by the fact that the local community decided to um, stage few historical events. Four years ago, five years ago we shot here the reconstruction of the return of this village to Poland in 1948. And the entire village staged this um, pretty wonderful and joyful event. And now it feels as if uh, some pale rendering of Bellatar touch is roaming or lingering here in the air waiting for 
proper talent to discover it and capture what's hidden in this landscape. Two years later, uh, they staged the deportation early 1941 from America to Siberia. And uh, I talked them into considering that they could actually use Stan Opauka's family story as the base. And it happened. <laughs> <laughs> and I am uh, working on reactions of those who took part in the events, who organized the events. Or some people who actually went through the real event, but for some reasons, because mostly of the age, they stayed home, but they still live in this in this area. No, i patrzymy się tutaj. Bardzo jesteście panie fantastyczne. A nie chce pan te matki wyjść? No dobra, na ściągnę. No. Okay, medyka, 20 styczeń, 2022. Robimy zdjęcia do. Filmu Rekonstrukcja. Panie pamiętają lata 40. I ja się o nich uczę. Zaraz! Zaraz otwieram! Dawaj, dawaj, wystrzał! Upałki to tam mieszkali, wie pan, na tej kolonii. Oni byli wywiezieni na Sybir. Tak, tak. Tak, i upałki mieli ładny dom, najładniejszy dom mieli, piękny dom, upałki. As you start focusing on anything, uh, that anything grows on you and you discover various elements and uh, there is this urge to explore, uh, understand, share with others and here I am still putting together this this piece that is called reconstruction and basically what it is is an attempt to show how a small community like this because of drive and passion of few uh, individuals tries to bridge the gap between the now and the Wyjście wasze stamtąd. Sołtys przychodzi od wsi. Wy przychodzicie stamtąd, skąd będzie koń wyjeżdżał. Tam leży babcia z prababcią. Tutaj leży dziadek, obok leżą dziadka, dziadkowie, a dziadka, rodzice leżą w drugim końcu cmentarza. Tutaj leżą właściciele. Ludzie, którzy mieszkali w tym domu, później ten ich dom został wykorzystany do naszej rekonstrukcji. Uwaga! Na kolanach, tak na trochę kolanach, tak tragizmu trzeba, panie wójcie. Panie sołtysie, już nie wiem jak mówić. 